In some cases, it is possible to have a reliable transmission over an unreliable channel. We'll see an example to illustrate this to later introduce the concept of channel coding. If we have, for instance, this discrete memoryless channel with four transmitted symbols and four receiver symbols, this means that we can transmit two bits per channel used. This is a highly unreliable channel because errors happen and errors happen with a, with a relatively high probability. When we transmit a given symbol, half of the times we receive the wrong symbol. So the probability of error is relatively high. However, if we analyze why the errors happen, it is possible to find a trick to obtain a reliable transmission. And errors happen because when we receive an observation, for instance, if we see Y0, it is not possible to identify without uncertainty, uncertainty uniquely the symbol that was transmitted. For instance, in this case, the transmitted symbol can be X0, but the transmitted symbol can also be X3. It's not possible to identify uniquely the transmitted symbol. However, it is possible to use a trick to have a reliable transmission. And this trick is just to select a subset of the symbols, symbols with not overlapping outputs and to transmit only these symbols. For instance, if we only transmit X0 and X2, the outputs do not overlap. If we now see Y0 or Y1, for sure, the transmitted symbol was X0. And if we see Y2 or Y3, for sure, the, transmi the transmitted symbol was X2. In this case, it is possible to have a transmission with zero probability of error. But there is a price to pay, and the price to pay is information the amount of information that is transmitted per channel use. Because if now we only transmit two symbols in information, we can only include a bit per channel use. And seeing these observations for sure will be at zero, seeing these observations for sure it will be a one, but in this case we only transmit a single information bit per channel use. Summarizing, if we found a subset of symbols with non-overlapping outputs, it's possible to have a fully reliable uh, transmission at the price of less information uh, per channel use. However, in this example, it is relatively simple to find a subset of non-overlapping uh, of symbols with non-overlapping outputs. In fact, several options are possible, like this one, or this one, to transmit X0 and X2, or to transmit X1 and X3, for instance. But in general, regular channels do not allow to, this, to do this directly. In this case, it is necessary to do something to force a similar situation, and this is channel coding. In this case, we look for situations with an arbitrarily low probability of error where we'll have overlapping with an arbitrarily low probability. With channel coding, the channel will be used n times together to define the so-called extended symbols. An extended symbol is a group of n bits. Now, if it is possible to find a subset of 2 to the power k uh, extended symbols that have a low overlapping and overlapping with a relatively low probability. It is possible to transmit k bits of information if we only transmit these 2 to the power k symbols with low overlapping. Here we have a very simple example. If we have a binary symmetric channel with a given error probability epsilon, the bit error rate is epsilon in this case, now we can define the extended symbols as three uh, consecutive uses of the channel. 
and the extended symbols will be every possible combination of three bits. In this new discrete memoryless channel uh, associated to the extended symbols, it's possible to identify links with relatively uh, high probability. For instance, if we have a reasonable bit error rate, the most likely situations is to have no errors or a single error over three bits. And for instance, if we only transmit x0, x0, x0 or x1, 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 the most likely situations to have zero errors or a single error will not overlap. Of course, in this case, uh, the probability of error is not zero, but in general, we can decrease the probability of error. For instance, if the bit error rate initially is 0.1, with this coding, the probability of error is reduced to 0 0.028. And if the initial bit error rate is 1 in a thousand, the probability of error with the coding scheme is around three times in a million much lower probabilities of error. The price to pay is that now we only transmit an information bit per three uh, channel uses. Therefore, the coding rate is the ratio between k and n, and in this case is one third. There is an intuitive idea, which is that if we maintain the k over n ratio, but increasing both n and k, probably the error will reduce. And this intuition is correct, but it has a limit. And this limit is channel capacity. In another video, we will introduce channel capacity.